I'm Jill. I'm the executive director of Coast Art Library. Our office is located here in the Joplin Public Library. If you're um, interested in our full mission and all that, I have brochures back there, but I'm going to get to what we're doing. So uh, right now we have a wonderful exhibit. It's sculpture by Justin Hale. You had to walk through part of it to get into this room. And that will be here until the end of September. Then next up in that gallery will be sculpture by Brett Dorrance. And then in our local history, genealogy and post reading room galleries right now, we have a Hubble exhibit, which is more of an educational and informational exhibit that was done by Bill and Doris Martin. They're um, authors who recently relocated to Joplin who wrote a book about Edwin Hubble. We also have space photography by Madison Perkins. And we have more sculpture by Justin, and we have a Walden rocker by Rory Jaros in our post reading room, which you can see. And then coming up in August and September, we'll have the Post Art Library and Joplin Public Library Summer Reading Art Challenge entries on display. Then October, November, Photography by Maxwell Heckman. And I just want to say, if you're an artist, you're part of an artist group, organization, have an idea for an exhibit, contact me. We're constantly looking to fill our schedules on an ongoing basis. So, um, and we have some annual exhibits that we um, collaborate with um, Joplin Public Library and Missouri Southern. We do literally design with them and also a senior exhibit. As far as programming goes, uh, we have the Joplin Writers' Fair, third annual in October. We're bringing Victoria Price here with Missouri Southern on November 18th. She's Vincent Price's daughter. She'll do an author visit. We have our holiday tea. We have our National Poetry Month events in April, our preservation events in May. Sorry, we have a lot. Try to get it all out, but you can always contact me. Um, and then we also do outreach. So you'll see these events like Park Days and at Joplin Pride this year. We're still working on collecting oral histories and other things for our archive. If you have any questions, suggestions, just see me. Thank you.